far. And welcome and share it out. Please do. Okay. Hey, Angela. Angela is in the house. Hey, Angela and Denise. Atomic. Oh, and Atomic was by here. Oh, Atomic was by. She said, do do I'll be at work. Looks good. I made company ham casserole last night. I will try this one. Okay. Oh, Angela, I wish you had got, you were feeling better and you could have came this way, but I, I understand. I really do. I really do. But whenever you come this way, holler at me. Let me know. Hey, Amy, how you doing? Hi, Beverly and friends. I have a medical appointment, so I have to hop off uh, in need of prayer. Love you all. Lord, yes, I know you got to hop off right quick, but I'm going to pray for you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we stand in the gap for our sister Amy right now. Lord, you know the situation, and I pray that you be with her and bring her through it. No matter what it is, we ask not our will, but your will, Lord, to be done in her life. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Amy, you welcome. You are welcome. We are going to be making biscuits, biscuit and ham. I'm going to have to look at the uh, camera. I keep looking at my laptop. <laughs> We're making biscuits and ham today with the leftover ham from Easter. So, hey, Joshua, how you doing today? Welcome to the live. Sending, um, Denise is sending prayers to Angela. I mean, to the... Amy, that's right. Thank you. Those A's got me there for a moment. Okay, it says that we have 15 people in here and 15 thumbs up. Ooh, look at God. Look at God. Um, quick smoke, atomic, taking a quick, a quick smoke break. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the devotion right quick. So we can go ahead and get started. I have everything over here ready to go. And we're going to take care of this devotion because, you know, we got to put God first in everything that we do. OK, the verse is. Hold on, I, I turned to the wrong one. OK, there it is the cactus flower. That's what we're going to be talking about today is the cactus flower. And the verse is the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. And that comes from Isaiah, the 38th chapter in the first verse. And that comes from the King James version of the Bible. I'm going to, Hey, um, uh, Ellen, is it Ellen or Eileen? Hello, beautiful Beverly hugs from Pickney, Michigan. Okay. I'm glad you stopped in today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Carmen Brown. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the live. I'm glad you're here too. I'm glad everybody's here. So mods, y'all keep up with people as they enter in and make them feel welcome while I read this um, devotion so we can go ahead and get started with the cooking. Because I want y'all to see the end results. Some plants flourish in the hardest environments. Take the cactus plant, for instance. They store up provisions of water and sunlight to ensure their continued existence. The curious looking plants not only survive, they thrive. They thrive. Some cactus flowers bloom once a year some for only a night. One particular variety of cactus, the night blooming Sirius, produces a spectacular bloom. Ragged edges, creamy petals tingle with peach, gold, and green fan out into a magnificent melody of splendor. Only to fade and droop by morning, our lives on this earth are as fleeting as those large, lovely blossoms. That, that cactus only blooms at night 
and the petals falls off in the morning. In view of eternity, our mortal existing flower and fades in but a moment. But what we do with our lives in that moment is what gives our lives meaning and importance, both in the here and the hereafter. Faith check. Like the cactus, believers must store up resources as well. Specifically, God's word, listen, specifically God's word in our hearts to provide living waters to our souls, waters that will keep our souls hydrated through desert, wandering, and hard time. The word of God hid in our heart will keep us in hard times. God's word is our provision and a prayerful life is our decision. Your word I have treasured and stored in my heart that I may not sin against you. Psalms 119 and 11. Not one hopeful bloom in the desert goes unnoticed by God. He sees and appreciates the beauty of his creation and the faithfulness of those who manage to bloom to his glory, wherever they are planted. And a little saying right there, if God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. You hear that? If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. Whatever God brings you to, he will bring you through it. That's the word right there. That's it. That's powerful. If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. And I know y'all have heard a lot of people say that, but that is so true. If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. Hey, Rochelle, how you doing? Welcome to the live today. Uh, Joshua said we're making biscuits. That's right, Joshua. He got it. He got it. And it's a casserole. Right, right. Back to work. Have a blessed week. You too, Atomic. And thank you so much for stopping by. I understand completely. Hey, LSP, how you doing today, sweet? Oh, well, I talked, well, we were talking earlier this morning, weren't we? Welcome to the live, LSP. You know I got to do something. Um, hello, Ma, and everyone in the chat. Angela's praying for Amy. Uh, Carmen Brown. Yes, he will. Joshua, hi, LSP. Hey, Vernell, how you doing, girl? We getting ready to get into this uh, biscuits and ham casserole. I want to thank everyone who's here today. I appreciate you being here so, so, so much. I love you all. You know that. I, you know I love you. But we're going to get into this because I want you to see this casserole. It don't take it long because everything really basically is already cooked. Okay, let's go over here, y'all. We're going to move. We're going to move. We're going to move. Okay. Let me put you in the right place. I have my oven. Set at 350 degrees. It is already warmed up. Let me wash my hands again, y'all. Okay. As Geo says, let get, let's get this show moving. Let's get this show grooving. We got to do it, okay? You will need two cups of cut up ham. Now, this recipe, if you want to use, if you want to put chicken or pork or whatever you want to put in, you can add any meat that you want to. And I know Miss Angela Critter, she doesn't eat meat. She's a vegetarian. But you can leave the meat out. <laughs> you can do however you want to do. But I have two cups of cut up ham, a fourth cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to put in the microwave and melt, 
two cans of cream of chicken soup. In this, I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Here we have the hash browns that come with the peppers and the onions already cut up in them. So that will be good. And a small bag of mixed vegetables. And that is everything. Yep, I got it all. Now, make sure who became a member. Let me go over here and look on my laptop. Chishel, thank you so much and welcome to the membership. I hadn't even said anything about the membership today because I wanted to get right back in it, in the cooking. But I am so glad that you are a member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you, thank you. And for those who are members here, remember uh, in the live, if you put in the comments, exclamation point, masterpiece and lowercase uh, letters, if you have a YouTube YouTube channel, your channel link will come up and people can click on that and go straight to your channel. So I wanted to put that in there and I want you, T-Shell, to feel so welcome. Now, y'all, this is an easy, easy casserole to do today. We're going to get started because this took the rest of my ham. Now. Whenever y'all have cans, before you open them, please clean off your lids because you know rodents and other insects and critters be traveling across those cans in uh, while they transporting it, while it's in the store, wherever. Don't trust the can, especially your drinks, your Pepsi, Cokes, and so on. When you uh, Before you open that can, a drink, clean it off. Because you know, I was a manager at Walmart and I've seen ugh, some awful stuff. So I, I just want everybody to do that and get it taken care of. Okay. I'm going to put the butter in the microwave so it can go ahead and melt. And we're going to open up the cream of chicken soup. And pour it in. Two cans. Any brand, it does not matter the brand. I always get the store about brand. Oh, I forgot about the butter. It melted though. Us seniors, we forget things so quick. That's all right. Okay. That's one can. Now to open up the other can of cream of chicken soup. Here we go. Now, your vegetables that are frozen that you're going to use, like these um, hash brown potatoes that I have that I'm using, set them out earlier. And my um, mixed vegetables, let them get room temperature because um, you don't want anything to be cold or frozen because it does not take this long, about 20, 25 minutes. Basically, it's just till your um, the biscuits get done. And I forgot to bring out the biscuits, but here are the biscuits. We'll be using grains. Okay, next we're going to put the butter, the melted butter. It's going in the dish. Let me get your spoon. Going to put in our spices. Mix this up. Of 
pour in, I got mixed vegetables. I'm gonna put them in. It's supposed to be 16 ounces of mixed vegetables. I'm going to have a little more. I had to go get one out of the freezer, which I don't like doing, but I did. We'll mix this all up together. We're going to put in the fourth cup of milk. Gonna add our ham to it. Mix it all up. You need y'all, I forgot the cheese. You need two cups of shredded cheese, cheddar cheese. world I forget the cheese mixing it all up together okay now to bring my dish over here A nine by 13 dish or your casserole dish, whichever one you want to use. Spray the bottom. Okay. I love to put that armor across the video. Okie dokie. Now we're going to put the potatoes in the bottom. I'm going to get some more. These are the potatoes that I am using. Potatoes O'Brien diced potatoes with onions and peppers. I want to fill up the bottom with it. Just a tad more. Okay. Now we're going to pour the mixture on top of that. Sure you can see. You can use any kind of vegetables. If you don't like mixed vegetables, you don't like the green beans or the carrots, just use what you like to use. I like the mixed vegetables in it. And like I said, you can use any kind of meat in it that you want. And if you don't want meat, you don't have to put meat. It still makes a good casserole. Get this smooth out. Me and this left hand, I'm trying to use my right hand, but it's not working out. Okay. Y'all see how good that looks? Ah! 
you just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting ready to do the biscuits to go on top. Okay. Find the right opening for the biscuits. Okay, it is eight biscuits. And move this around so I so you can see what I'm doing. There you can see. What I'm going to do with the biscuits, I'm gonna cut them into fours. Cut them in half, then cut them in half again, like that. Half and half again. And we're going to do all eight of them like that. Okie dokie. Two, three, four more. And you, you all may already um, have your favorite casserole, but add this to your collection. Okay, one more, and we'll have all the biscuits cut. Okay, all the biscuits are cut. What we're going to do now, we're going to place them on the casserole. Any order. It does not matter how you put them on there. Just give a little space in between so they can uh, rise up. Okay, we have two more pieces to find a place, find a home for. Okay, now the casserole is ready to go in the oven. You see it? I'm going to put it in the oven now. I'm going to let it. It is 1.23. And let's see. Oh, Lord, I left a piece of biscuit out. There it goes. About 15 till 1. They should be ready, but I'll check them. Not 15 to 1, 15 to 2. We'll check them. Let me turn it around. Now, now if I can get up in this high chair, <laughs> this bar stool, okay. Let me see what everybody's been saying. 
Welcome everybody who came in while I was um, fixing the casserole. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Denise said, yummy. Oh, Denise, it is good. It is good. I probably could have put more cheese, but I didn't. Really, you can add how you want to. So it is one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper. And see, so you don't need, with the ham, you don't need to put um, salt in it because the ham is salty. A fourth a cup of milk, your mixed vegetables, uh, those potatoes to go in the bottom that I showed you, two cups of um, cheese. Did I say it was two cans of cream of chicken soup and your grand's biscuit to go on top? Slice them in four um, four ways. Slice them in half, then in half, and that's it. Have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. And so we're going to watch it. It may take 20, 25, it depends on your oven. So, hey, Linda. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Yes, we are. And I pray that you, are you fishing today? Are you fishing today, Linda? Uh, Denise, Bev, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot. My nose running today. My daughter, Sunday, was getting a cold and she's been sick. And see, they were here Easter eating. I pray this keeps on going because I don't want nothing. I ain't claiming nothing. I'm not claiming nothing. So, um, LSP is speaking to Linda, Denise, Bev. I read that. Uh, be right back, warming up my lunch. Okay, LSP. And Rochelle's speaking to Linda. Okie dokie. And let me look in here. Wow, it's looking good today, y'all. Thank y'all for everybody who is who has come in. We have 20 people watching and 27 thumbs up. What a blessing. God is good. Last week when we made that baked spaghetti, that live blew up, y'all. People, how many views did I get on that live? Let me see. Was it? Four, five hundred. Wait a minute, I can tell you. I sure can. Live. Five hundred and thirty. That video, that live last Thursday was blessed with five hundred and thirty views so far. Would you look at God? Would you look at God? What a blessing. 530 views for that live. I am, I, I, I'm just elated. I just cannot speak. I mean, it was baked, but that baked spaghetti was good. <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed that baked spaghetti. I, Rochelle, Miss Angela, that's Linda speaking to everybody. Okay. And it was something. That, oh, we on the road to 50K. Y'all know that. Once we, when we get to 50K, we having a, a, a celebration, a celebration, a celebration. You think we had a celebration at 25K, you wait to the 50K. And then when the Lord bless us to get 100K, it's going to be on. Like I told you, when we get to 100K, it will be someone in this family that will be blessed with $500 when we get to uh, 100K. It's coming. It's coming, y'all. Hey, Gordon Brown, going to make your lemon cake this weekend, but got to use Betty Crocker instead of Duncan Hines. We'll let you know how. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You can even use the, a store brand if they have it, you know, in that flavor. You can use that. That will be just fine. You have to do what you have to do. And I understand. But it will be good. It will be good. 
And please let me know how it turned out. I want to know. I want to know how it did. Yes, ma'am. I'm fishing. Caught one girl. And Jimmy been talking about going fishing and going fishing and going. Did I tell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Back up. Linda, I got to tell you this. Jimmy bought a brand new boat. Motor, trailer, everything. A couple of years ago. It's never hit water. Never hit water. When I, did I tell y'all about when I had my um, hip replacement surgery? Looks delicious. Need prayer. But special friend Darren has cancer, has returned. He, he treated me like a daughter. Please pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We, y'all, we got to pray now. Then I go back. Don't let me forget to tell you about the story about the boat, because you, you know my mind be short sometimes. So don't let me forget. Well, let's play for um, Cheryl Allen's friend, Darian, whose cancer has returned. Okay. Touch and agree. Father God, we come again standing in the gap for our friend, Lord. Darren, whose cancer has returned. Lord, you know all about it. You know what he is going through and you know what needs to be done. Lord, I'm, I'm praying for healing for Darren. I'm praying that that cancer will be out of his body and not to be found anymore. Lord, you can fix it. You can do it. And I ask that your will be done, that you would touch his body, touch his body with your healing hand, Lord, as only you can do. And Lord, as we praying for Darren, I'm praying that they will find a cure for cancer here in the United States of America. Lord, I speak it, decree it, and I am believing that it is going to be done. That the cure, I believe they already have it. They just haven't told us about it. But Lord, we're going to keep the faith and believe. And I pray for everyone that's in this live today. I thank you, Lord, for my family and friends who have gathered and come here to be with me for this appointed time. Lord, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I praise your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Victory. Victory is ours. Victory is Darren's. God going to touch his body. Whatever way it is, it is well. And we claim it. Okay. I'm a, Darren, I'm, I'm lifting you up with healing, with healing, light and prayer. Light and prayers. May God bless you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We got to pray for one another. And I, I try my best when somebody asks for prayer. I want to stop what I'm doing right then and pray for them. Even when I'm out and about, if someone come up and ask me to pray for them, I, I do it right then. I even I pray for them again when I'm at home. Like I will pray for everybody again. But at that moment, at that time, I want to pray for that person. But going back to the boat situation, I don't know if I told, did I tell y'all about the fire? I had been home for my surgery one week, I think, one week. And Jimmy and Ahmad went to get something to eat. Early in the morning, Jimmy has a fire pit. He has a legal thing that you supposed to burn in. That since we for forty years, he's burned down the hill in this place. Well, it sort of entered my mind, and then it fleed out. You know, has, has the fire gone down? But I didn't say anything to him. So I was sitting there in the chair in the recliner. All at once, I hear fire, fire, fire I mean, the, the sirens and stuff going off. And I'm in the county, so we don't hear those things often. When I, when I hear them here, I know they're coming to someone in my subdivision or in my area. So I said, what is going on? It's getting closer. So I got my walker, got up, and hobbled to the living room because the, the noise was just getting, it, it was like it was right here at my house, which it was. So I make it to the living room to look out the, out the door and the, the fire truck 
pulls up in the lower driveway. I'm thinking he just pulls up to turn around to go where he needs to go. No, he pulled up because uh, two other fire was it two other fire trucks? I think it was two or another fire truck came right in behind him. I looked to the right and see the fire going. The wind was blowing that day. He wasn't supposed to leave it. The tree was a big tree down that caught on fire. It was a tree. And he has a storage house down there. The bottom of it caught on fire. That's what I seen. I wasn't paying the boat no attention. <laughs> so, and it's, it's, it's um, open land next to it. You know, a lot of trees and stuff. So when the, when the fireman came up here, to, you know, I opened the door because I couldn't go down. And I was telling him, I said, I just had hip surgery and I can't walk down these steps. And I said, my husband just left. And I, I said, I'm calling him. Or I had called him and I said, he's on his way back home. So after that fire, they got it out. They got everything out and taken care of. And I asked him, I said, how is was your boat all right? And he said, I ain't been down there to check it. He didn't check that boat for about two weeks. He was scared. He, it wasn't, yeah, he was scared to go down there because he was afraid of what he was going to find. When he finally went down there to check the boat, under the boat was melted. Under the boat was melted. Linda, that boat has never been in the water. Never been in the water. And it's done. It's done. And I was like, you better not mention to me you're going to buy another boat. You better not. No way, Jose. Never seen water. And it's gone. It's a done deal. So, yep, Denise and LSP. LSP, you're going to have to come and get us. Just messing up stuff. But I thank God because my daughter lives back over right next to me. I mean, that it's back in the corner, like it's in the corner. And um Rashad be at home during the day by himself. And so I was worried about the fire getting over to her her house and Rashad's in there and he stays in his room most of the day. He wouldn't know nothing going on no way. So I was worried about that, but everything worked out. Thank God. Everything worked out. So will homeowners insurance cover it or your homeowner insurance will cover it. But we just did a claim on our home and I told him you couldn't do it. I told him no. Mm -mm. You ain't doing a claim on it. Because uh Remember when my ceiling in the living room cave fell in a few months back? We just did a claim. I didn't want them come telling me we they're gonna cancel our insurance for so many claims. That boat went right off, but I didn't want to do another one. I said, nope. Yeah, the insurance would have paid for it. It would have paid for it, but that was a lesson learned. A lesson learned. So we didn't claim it on the insurance. I said, no, I'm not back-to-back -back claims like that, no. And, well, I can't talk to, oh, about fire. About 30 years ago, you know, I had a fire here in the kitchen where it was on a Saturday night. I never will forget that. Turned the stove on, had the hot grease on, was going to fry some catfish. Thought about my clothes downstairs in uh, the dryer. Went downstairs to check on the clothes and they were dry. So I forgot about, I had uh, the grease on, start folding clothes and I heard my daughter scream. All engulfed right back here. The fire department <laughs> had to come in. Well, yeah, they had to come in because the kitchen was destroyed. The kitchen was destroyed. And one of the firemen was a young man that I worked with. He teased me for, for years after that about that fire, that he had to come out here for a fire that I started. But anyway, we live in the county. So when you live in the county, you have to, uh, you have, to have that insurance with the fire department for them to come 
out to your your house when you have a fire if you don't have that insurance it costs a thousand dollars for them to come out well then we didn't have it but the insurance uh all state then put it on the um in with the repairs so we didn't have to pay it so after that we kept talking about we were going to get it we were going to get that insurance we were going to get it never did get it we got it now we got it now because i told him i said you're going to be getting a bill from the fire department you're going to get a bill well it was about a month later before they sent it twelve hundred dollars so they went up two hundred dollars from when we last had a fire he joined then he joined <laughs> He joined when he was crying, right? Matt, check out. <laughs> Lesson learned. Lesson learned, y'all. Oh, no. LSP, the stories I could tell you. <laughs> the stuff we get into. Um, and I forgot Greece, the fire melted the overhead mark. All oh, the cabinets. Every everything back here. It was back then my kitchen, my um, my stove, refrigerator was you remember when the beige color was so popular? Everything in here was beige, and my cabinets was um that oak looking wood. That's what it was back then. So when uh now I don't some people don't like all state, but I love me some all state. You hear me? I have every time we've had major claims, like when the tree, when we had that tornado come through and the tree fell on the house, they'd be right on it. They were right on it. That that evening, that afternoon, they people were cutting that tree down. I mean, everything they they just had it lined up. They take care of it. And when I had that fire from the catfish, all my draperies, everything. They had it clean. I mean, they just took care of, they repainted the house. They did everything. Anything that would have a smoke smell, they took care of it. I mean, it was unbelievable. And they wanted us to move out while they were um, redoing it. But I didn't want to move out. I, I didn't want to move out. So we stayed here while they did the remodeling. And, and then when they got everything done, it was six months. Before I would cook in the kitchen again. Six months. We ate out then for six months straight because I would I didn't I, I didn't have the nerve to come in the kitchen to cook. I just didn't have it for six months. And Jimmy was patient with me. And that brand new stove looked pretty for six months. It just sit there looking pretty. I go to the refrigerator, but I didn't cook nothing on that stove. Uh, let LSP and myself know when Mr. Jimmy gets that boat fixed and we will come up and we can all go and we're not getting that boat fixed. <laughs> and he told me he could fix it. Mm-mm. I'm getting in that boat. <laughs> A brand new boat. Brand spanking new. Ain't never touch well nothing but rainwater. <laughs> That's the only water it seen was rainwater. Lord, very expensive lesson learned. Very expensive lesson learned. It really is. <laughs> Let's be laughing. I know it. Oh, let me see what they looking like, y'all. Let's see. Okay, it's going to take it a little bit longer. Oh, you bring your chicken wings up? Okay. Oh, there you go. Was that girl there? Okay. Who we go to this time? Oh, she's doing it. Okay. Ahmad's getting his hair done. His prom is Saturday. Saturday is his prom. So he's going to get his hair fixed. She's going to twist it up, whatever they do to it, so he can be cute for his prom. He's he's wearing um, 
black and gold, black and gold. No date. All he here they go. Well, we have a park. It's called Springbrook Park. Park, and the seniors. It's beautiful there, and the seniors always go and get their prom pictures taken in the in the park before they go to their prom. That's a tradition for here. We go to that park, Springbrook, and all the prom goers are there. He didn't want to take no girl. He didn't want to be bothered because he ain't going to stay at the prom for maybe 30 minutes. The prom is in Knoxville. So he's going to go to the prom. All he's going to do is go and see what they got to eat and eat. And then he's ready to go. That's it. So he can say he went to the prom. But at least he's going. So I'm glad about that. We had chicken wings last night. Eden left. Yep. He went to the store. And he found these. So we are having these this evening. With the ham casserole. Because I had to fix that. I had to get rid of that rest of that ham. So he's going to fry chicken wings. Ahmad loves fried chicken wings. He loves it. Sounds great. <laughs> um, can the boat be repaired? Yeah, it can. I, it can be repaired, but I don't. Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't trust it. Even though he's good, he can do it. But it's um, it's fiberglass under there. Not I don't want him playing with that. Mm -mm. This makes a good topping if you don't have biscuits. One stick of melted butter, one cup of milk, one cup of self-rising flour. Uh, whisk it together until smooth and pour it over the top. It is. I've tried it before. It is. Now I make um, a cobbler like that. I make cobblers. It's called one cup, one cup of everything, and you pour it over your peach, apples, or whatever fruit you want in bed and make you a cobbler. It's called one cup cobbler. That is good. Yes, it is, Linda. Linda, I make something like that with plain flour. Uh huh. How was the musical for a mom? Over oh, now, it was so nice. It was so nice. And I did several videos, but I didn't know if anybody wants to see it. But I still may put, uh, like little shorts, I still may put a couple of them up. Because those who know him will know. <laughs> it was his last um, concert. Well, tomorrow, I, I take it back. Tomorrow, they will be going to um, University of Tennessee College. They're in competition. They made it to state. The chorus did. So they will be going to, for the competitions tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Because he told me a little while ago that uh, he has to be at school early at 7 o'clock in the morning because the bus is going to leave early. So they will go for the competition. So be praying, everybody, that they will win the competition for state, for state. Alcor High School and Alcor, Tennessee. They are going to state for the chorus, for the men and women chorus. They sound good. They sound really good. But it was long. The concert was long because Trent is the um is their teacher, is the chorus teacher. He did the sixth, seventh, eighth grade and the high school. I know it was 25 songs. <laughs> and some of them babies couldn't sing. But I clapped and, and grinned and, and did for them because they sung them songs from the beginning to the end. And I said, oh, bless their hearts. They can't even carry a note. But they sing. Not all of them. And just some of them. But anyway, it was good. It was really, really good. But it was long. Um, and that got me off, got us both, because you know J Jimmy goes to sleep early. And when we got home, it, it was after 10 o'clock. And that's late, late for us. Late, late for us. And then we had to 
wind down after we got home. So it was going on 12 o'clock when I went to bed. And I was just all mixed, messed up. <laughs> I was all messed up. I didn't know what was going on. I said, I couldn't sleep good. Then I finally got to go to sleep. I said, I'm not used to being up this late. Angela said, congratulations to Ahmad. Yes. I'll tell him you said it too. He'll and he'll just grin. He'll just grin. Um, Denise, check your oven. Yeah, I just checked it. Let me check it again. Doc. They are browning. The biscuits are browning. Thank the Lord. And I, this is um. Uh, let me show this to y'all. What time is it? One fifty. Nancy in California, not Cal Nevada. Nancy lives in Nevada. She sent me this while, while I was out with my surgery. Let's be friends. Isn't that cute? And she sent me a, uh, a T-shirt that had four, I think it was four or five black women that's on the front of it. I love it. I, I probably don't wore it five times already. I love that top. I wasn't washing it right now. I would bring it so you could see it. But I love this. This is so cute. But Nancy sent me that. Nancy be on it, though. Nancy blessed me with this. Nancy's always got something in the mail for me. And I thank the Lord for it. Yes, I love this. And I tell them, anything that's on the oven door, I tell y'all, don't wipe your hands on it. <laughs> Don't wipe your hands on it. Don't use it for nothing. So I got this on the oven door and I don't want nobody using this because I, I, I cherish this. I love it. I really do. It means a lot to me. Uh, Cheryl Allen said, congratulations to him. Thank you. I'll t I'm only having to read the comments so he can see what everybody said. He, like, he, he likes stuff like that. He really does. And when I be cooking, Oh, that's something else he told me. He said, Nana, he said, they're going to have, um, what do you call it? When I was in school, it was home economics. Uh, I almost said it. Say it, uh, LSP. I know you know what it is. Anyway, they're going to start that class next year at the high school where they be cooking. And uh, he was grinning. I said, oh, you missed it by a year. I said, you could have been in there cooking. What He loves to cook. When I'm cooking, especially making cakes, he'll he'll come in here and I'll show him step by step and he'll be watching and he does it and he can cook good. He can cook good. The little things he's learning step by step, he he really uses it. And when he gets it down back, he'll call his sister and say, and let her know that Nana showed me how to do this today. Nana showed me how to do this or that today. I be listening. I said, Listen, Eddie. <laughs> a cook off. Denise said a cook off. Cool, cool, culinary, culinary class. <laughs> Shut up, LSP. Anyway, that's what it is. Uh, Fernell said, Miss, have you tried the frozen biscuits in the freezer section as well to do with your? Yes, the one in the red bag. Well, not the red bag. It's it's a clear bag, but it's got red writing it's on it, and it's it's an off brand. It's not a name brand. It's an off brand bag of biscuits, and they're frozen. They are the best biscuits. They taste just like homemade biscuits. They are so good. Yes, I've tried those. Thank you, Denise. That's what it is. Cul cul culinary arts. I can't say that, Linda. But that's what it is, and they're going to start that next year. So he's missing that. But his Nana's teaching him how to cook. She sure is, and he's going to be a good cook. He is going to be a good cook. I'm going to go ahead and put the butter in the microwave for the biscuits. So it can, I'll have it ready to put it on top.
Okay, the butter is melted, so we're just waiting on the casserole to come out. I turned the oven up to 375, so it'll help brown them faster. I haven't showed y'all what it's looking like in the oven. Hold on, let me show you. There it is. They're trying to brown. They are trying. And that aluminum foil you seen over there was the ham bone. My sister-in-law told me to keep that, this, uh, make sure I don't throw that ham bone away because she wanted to fix some things. I'm hot, y'all. To fix some uh, beans with the ham bones, some pinto beans. I want to stop seeing you and yours too. I want to. Hey, Minnie Reeves, how you doing? My nephew cooks in a place in Carolina and actually cooked for Oak. Oh, that's good. Yes, what a blessing for your ne nephew. Mrs. B's frozen biscuits. And they make frozen dumpling strips. Yes, yes, that's it. Very good. They have the clear back and red. That's it, Mrs. B, when you said it. Yes, that's it. They are the best biscuits. I haven't tried their dumplings. I'm going to have to try them. Minnie, do you have a good recipe for peanut soup? Have a ham bone and ham meat leftovers? I never had peanut soup. Ah, oh, pea soup, pea soup, yes, pea soup. No, I don't. You know what? I haven't had pea soup since I was a little girl. I'm going to have to look into that. I have not had pea soup since I was a little girl. But this ham bone? <laughs> Here it is, y'all. And she said, make sure you give me that ham bone. <laughs> Let me put this cheese up. So I am going to make sure she gets her ham bone. Uh, I want to block you and can't see a way to do it. Please take me off your tube. I didn't put you on it, sweetheart. I did not. But you can go ahead and block me if you want to. I have no problems with that. And I'm sorry that you are getting notices from me. But I don't do that. YouTube does that. So if you want to block me, why are you in here? Hello to the persons that talking about the pea soup cannot pronounce your name. Apologize. That's right, Brunel, Denise. Uh, that or kale soup. I never had kale soup either. I never heard of kale soup. Where have I been? Thank you, LSP. Thank you. Because see the other Beverly, I felt her creeping in a little bit. <laughs> I had to speak to I had to speak to myself. Calm down, girl. Calm down. LSP, I'll show her to the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you don't want, you don't have to come in. You don't have to look. You don't have to be bothered. I don't know why she's getting notifications because I don't do it. Portuguese soup is made with kale. Oh. Something funny that they were all taken about having t-shirts made yesterday with fish and sand. One said warm whispers. Uh, fish whispers. I said, I want mine to say uh, pole dance, LOL. We were all laughing. I want to see that pole dance. Yeah. 
Yes, Miss Linda, I want to see that. Angela said, what kind of person comes into a lady's live and shows their butt? No one forced her in here. Nobody. Nobody. Ain't nothing but the devil. Ain't nothing but, but the devil. Because um, he doesn't want us to uh, gather together, have a good time, have decent conversation, not dogging people. My fishing pole. Okay. <laughs> I thought you did. And that's what that person is doing. But, you know, we'll, we'll just pray for him. Doesn't know how to use the tip. Uh-huh. We'll just pray for him because we ain't got time for that. Linda, you are. Linda is. Uh, Linda is a mess. I like, I like the way she, I mean, she's comical. And I like that. And she's using her comedy in her own life like I do. <laughs> like the things happen in my life, you know. Life can be comical. It really can. Y'all, I may turn this up a little bit more because I want it to. Oh, my watch doesn't stop. 202, the clock. They browning now. But they ain't browning like I want them to brown. Let me get my pot holders out. Hey, Mr. Bentley. I'm going to turn it on broil so they can go ahead and finish browning, but I'm going to stand over here because I'm going to have to watch this. I don't want them to burn up. Okay. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to open your oven door as much as I have been doing it. You letting the heat out. That's a no-no. I'm wrong, but I've been doing it. See what you're saying. Linda, your channel. Linda, your channel. Enjoying coffee. Feels like sitting at one of my Uma's kitchen table. Just missing the smell. Oh, you call your grandma Uma? My daughter, Blaze's grandmother. That's her name for Blaze to call her is Uma. I'm going to bring y'all back over here so you can see me put the butter on it.
What do you think? There it is. Have a, have a mom pick the college you want. Yes, he's going to Pilisippi State. It's a community college here. He's going there for two years. He's going to start out there. He wants to work. Um, his father is a computer engineer for Apple in uh, California. And that's he wants to um, study compute, computer tech. It looks good, y'all. It turned out good. Let me turn the light off in the oven. Let me see. I'm going to bring you back over here again. I'm going to get this little corner out because it's still piping hot. But I wanted you to see it. See? Look. This is a meal in itself. I was going to eat it, but I'm not. I'm going to eat what's on the spoon now. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. That's a weird side for some um, fried chicken wings, but that's going to be the side for the chicken wing. It sure is. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, I wish everybody was here so y'all could get some. Y'all could help help us help us eat that. Now I gotta call people and, and have somebody come and get some. Because we won't eat it. We'll eat one bite and be done with it. Looks delicious. Thank you. You are so right, Linda. Oh, yes, yum. I will make make this in the next couple of days. Please do atomic. Angela, you don't really need that. Quit. I know that. <laughs> he had taken them out. He had taken the wings out. So he had to go ahead and brown. I know. Uh, I can't I can't make atomic real biscuits is easy to make. They're not hard, baby. I'm gonna have to make some for you. Uh, do you serve this with it would be good with a salad? Yes, it would be. Salad would be great. A veggie pasta salad. Yes. Will you freeze some beverage? Yes, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have because that's a big casserole. But I'm going to send some to his sister and I'm going to have my daughter to come and get some also that lives next door to me. So that'll take care of it. I can break windows. <laughs> you can break windows with your biscuits. Bless your heart. <laughs> you can break windows. I've enjoyed y'all today. I wish y'all was here so y'all could eat some with me. LSB said this whispering is tripping me out. Boy, I don't want Jimmy to hear me. <laughs> I know, especially talking about his boat. Ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation. Uh, Atomic said, bye, back to work. Bye, Big uh, Atomic, have a blessed weekend. A nice dish. It is. It is, Rochelle. L-S-P, L-O-L. Jimmy. <laughs> I know it. Angela, bye, Atomic, Linda. Boat giveaway time. <laughs> you have to come and pick it up for yourself. No shipping here. <laughs> Amen. 
You got to come and pick it up. I even give you some gas to put in, some gas money to put the gas. <laughs> oh, now we on to um, uh, getting the new grill in the back. An another grill. He only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven grills, seven. And we need a new one. Beverly's live Tuesday and Thursday at one. But thank you, Aunt Sure is on my way. Save me some casserole too. Okay. <laughs> thank yes, that casserole. I wish y'all were near because the food I cook and I don't know how to cook little meals, you know, to do a little dish or something. I don't know how to do that because I'm used to fixing for the family and I just used to making big things like that. But it's just the three of us and we'll we'll eat it one time and be done with it. OK, Armand, you go, boy, praying for all you all of you. All the way. Thank you, Renelle. I'm going to speak decree and declare over you and myself because I know y'all got other things you need to do. I've enjoyed y'all this day. Even the one that come in who didn't want to be here. To God be the glory. <laughs> My daughter, LSP, took care of that. Okay. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. Anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk. And you are all made in the image of God. You know what just in my mind? Where's Stan? Stan didn't make it in here today. Stan the man. <laughs> That's that's our friend, y'all. That's our king. King of the, uh, the live is Stan the man. Stan. Hi, wherever you are today, we send you much love. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Everyone have a blessed and prosperous weekend. I am so thankful and grateful that you joined me today. We will be back Tuesday at 1 p.m. If the Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> Okay, everyone be blessed, and I will have Sunday service on Sunday. See you soon, and if you buy my, you know, um, it's a YouTuber. Her name is Wani. Y'all know Wani's, Wani's, Wani's house or something, but anyway, at the end, she always, she lives in Georgia, and she does decoration. You know, she decorate house and stuff like that and try on clothes and all that. I enjoy her. I've been watching her for years. But she always say, said at the end of her lives, if you're ever in my area, feel free to come by uh, Wani's house. Come on. I wonder if anybody has ever went by Wani's house. I'd be scared to say that because she could have a busload of people outside her house. But she always says that. And I like that about Wani. If you're ever in her area, Feel free to go by Wani's house. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.